are continuing our vegetable adventure today and we are going to make one of my favorite soups. It's a cream of cauliflower soup. It's so easy to make but it's incredibly flavorful even though it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of bacon. Bacon makes everything taste so much better. Now the good thing is I'm only going to use two strips so it's not going to have all of that fat that you usually associate with bacon. So I've got my pot here and it's getting warm. I'm just going to put this bacon into two strips that I have chopped into to little pieces. I'm going to dump it in there and render that down into nice crispy little chunks that I'm eventually going to use to garnish this. And that should start sizzling soon. Get off. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to cut up my cauliflower. And it's funny because cauliflower isn't a super popular vegetable. It's not something you think, oh, man, I could go for some cauliflower. But trust me, after you have the soup, that's all going to change. It comes in a head, and you have to do a little work to get it cleaned off. Maybe a lot of work. Get all the green off as much as we can. <laughs> as much as we can. And it will get a little messy, so I have my little junk bowl here. Go ahead and cut it in half. And it does tend to fly, so make sure you've got a lot of space if you're doing this. So see there's a little center core and it will have some of that green attached to it. So you can just chop that off and then the green comes off pretty easily. Or sometimes you can just pull it right off. And I will use the whole head of cauliflower for this. And it really doesn't matter the size um, because you can adjust the thickness of the soup very, very easily. Give my bacon a little stir. This is going to render off about a tablespoon of that delicious bacon fat. Actually, not, probably not even a tablespoon. Maybe half a tablespoon. But it's going to add so much flavor and none of the guilt. a bit. And I'm going to chop this cauliflower up into as small pieces as I can, just because the smaller the pieces are, the quicker it's going to cook. And I like to do things that are quick and easy. Don't forget about your bacon. You don't want it to burn on you. You really have to multitask here. So even if you like your bacon a little wiggly, you really want to make sure you cook it till it's nice and crisp. Because you don't really want wiggly bacon on top of your soup. Well, maybe you do. It's up to you. That's almost ready. I'm getting just a little bit of bacon fat, not too much. And those are getting nice and crispy for me. Oh, got a couple big chunks here. I want to make sure they're all nice and small. I think that's probably good. Okay, so my bacon is ready. I'm just going to take a little slotted spoon and pull it out and set it here on a uh, paper towel for it to drain. So look at how nice and brown it is crispy that bacon is. And it smells so good. So what I've got left is just probably under a tablespoon of the bacon grease. And now what I'm going to put in that is half of an onion that I've chopped, and it's a pretty small dice. And I'm going to let that cook until it's nice and translucent in that bacon fat. Ooh, sounds good. can get very messy. And it's on a medium high right now. So you really want to keep them moving so that your onions don't burn. You don't want any char flavor in this soup. So once that you see that your onions have gotten nice and soft and they start to become a little translucent, you're ready to put your cauliflower pieces in. You're just going to put them in right on top of those onions. I wish you were here smelling this because it smells so delicious. Oh, you 
of green. You're gonna get as much of that as you can in there. And it will fly everywhere. I recently found out my dog likes cauliflower. Because I was chopping it and it went flying across the counter. And here she comes, and I'm thinking she's gonna leave it, but she scarfed all of it, licked the floor. So I guess that's good. It's healthy for her. I wish I could get my daughter to like it as much raw, but she likes this, so. Now I'm just gonna cook the cauliflower in with the onions just for two or three minutes just to get them started. And then I'm gonna add some chicken stock. And we're almost done. There are so few ingredients in this and it's so delicious. And people are really starting to use cauliflower a lot more lately. Um, I've seen cauliflower puree where well, they use it instead of mashed potatoes. And recently I tried cauliflower rice. And you just get the raw cauliflower and you grate it up and then steam it. And it looks like rice. It doesn't have quite the right texture of rice, but it looks like it. And if you mix it in with beans and stir fry and whatnot, you can bake it pretty well. And it's a lot healthier for you. You gotta get these veggies in whenever you can. It's so important. Okay, so those have been going for about three minutes. And I'm just gonna add some chicken stock. And depending on the size of the cauliflower that you have will determine how much chicken stock you have or that you add into there. So I've got three cups here. I might not use it all because this cauliflower was a little smaller. But you want to get it to where it's just about, just about covering the cauliflower. Maybe a little bit more. You can always add a little more a little later if your soup is too thick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to a boil and wait for my cauliflower to get nice and soft. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to high and just wait a few minutes. So our cauliflower has been cooking in the broth for about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to take this lid off. And you can see that it's just nice and tender. The fork just goes right through it so you know it's done. Now a lot of the water has been absorbed and just kind of cooked off with steam, so I might need to add some more of the chicken stock. So I'm going to pull that off the hot burner and let it cool down just a little bit. That just a second, I'm going to clear off my cutting board. Let me see, now I'm going to use my immersion blender and I'm going to just blend all of that yummy cauliflower into that nice silky cream. And I love these. If you don't have one, I would recommend it because it's so much easier than taking this stuff and putting it in a blender and transporting it. It's hot. You do have to be careful though. So I'm going to start it on low. It might splash, so kind of back away at first. Oopsie. <laughs> it helps if you give the soup a little angle. This is something you want to make sure when you're doing it, if you have little ones, they're not in the area because it will, you can see, splatter all over the place and it's really hot. So once you have the cauliflower all nice and blended up, you're going to add a little bit of cheese. I have only a quarter of a cup of cheese, and this is a Mexican blend, which I like because it has some cheddar and some sharp flavors in it. Um, you can choose whatever kind of cheese you like. Just go with it. Go ahead and sprinkle it on top. So even though there's some bacon and there's some cheese in there, the amounts are so small that it's really not going to add too much for the calories. This is going to make about four nice sized bowls of soup that have under 300 calories each. And it's really going to fill you up. I'm mix that all in. All right. Use this. So you can see this is a nice, thick, rich soup. If you'd like it a little thinner than that, if that's too hearty for you, just add some of the chicken stock. But other than that, we are done with this. So now I'm going to put it into a nice serving bowl and make it a good try. So you can see just how thick and rich and creamy and delicious this soup is. Now I'm going to take that bacon that we rendered off earlier and just top it off. And you really get that flavor when you taste, whoa, <laughs> when you taste the soup. I'm throwing bacon everywhere. It's a bacon festival. So there you have it cream of cauliflower soup. This is so delicious. You've got to give this one a try.